Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen White. May 21st, Oneness with Christ. Have thine own way, Lord, have thine own way. Search me and try me, Master, today. Whiter than snow, Lord, wash me just now as in thy presence humbly I bow. Oneness with Christ. Let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 19 through 21. Oneness with Christ depends on the renewing of the mind by the Holy Spirit. Thus we are strengthened to walk in newness of life, receiving from Christ the forgiveness of our sins. He who has the faith which works by love and purifies the soul is a cleansed vessel, sanctified and meet for the master's use. Self is dead. All disunion, all selfish thoughts, words and actions are are the fruit of the working of an unholy spirit upon the mind. Under the influence of this spirit, words are spoken which do not reveal the Savior. Christ is not formed within the hope of glory. Those who live thus are sinners, though they may be disguised as saints. Those who receive Christ are meek and lowly in heart. Christ is opens within their hearts a living fountain of water, which springs up unto eternal life, refreshing the souls of others. The lives of those who eat the bread of life and drink the water of salvation are purified by the grace of God. Let all study the word. Let not any man burden his soul with so many burdens that he cannot study the precious lessons Christ has given. The word of God is not half comprehended. If each one would proclaim a fast for his own soul, studying the word of God with earnest prayer and reading only those books which would help him to gain a clearer knowledge of the word, God's people would have much more spiritual health and strength, much more spiritual knowledge and understanding than they now reveal. We need to seek God that we may find him precious to our souls. We need to keep him as our abiding guest and companion, never parting from him. To be one with Christ in God is the privilege of every soul. But in order to be this, we must be meek and lowly, teachable and obedient. Shall we not be of that number who make a business of securing by earnest prayer and faithful practice the faith that works by love and purifies the soul? This Day with God, May 21st. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.